there might be certain cases where you want to bring over to a detailed view a list of items, right? So we are looking at our store, right? So we have this item, but maybe you want to show other items or the rest of the items in your store. Uh, maybe you have the Yelp-like template where you have a business listing, but you want to show in this same screen, in the detailed view for that screen, the rest of the business listings. Now we can make this, move this a step further and we can show only items that match certain conditions that this item also has. So let's go back for a sec and let's start with the easier part. So I'm looking at my store, right? If I go to my data, I can see my items. So remember I have a row ID, my item name, I have a description, then I have tags, which actually I add colors, purple, that's it. I have the price, then I have an image. So I have this cards view, it's a list, right? When I click any of these items, I have, again, my details. Now let's change this action text. And I wanna show you my tags. So this will be tags, okay? Now this is the detailed view for item number one. Now I can add a list of items here below this. So how can I do that? I'll add an inline list. An inline list is a way to bring an other, another list of items that can be anywhere in your workbook, in your, in your goal sheet. Uh, in this case, I wanna show only items, right? So I wanna bring over to this item, maybe the rest the other items that I have in my store. The inline list, again, has the same styles that any of your main tabs has. So in this case, because here I have a card style, I want my items in my inline list to match. So first, I'm on my inline list here, so the values will be the items. The title will be the name, the image, I'll put it to the image by Glide, and I will make these cards and then I'll make them half size. I'll make them like this, image shape, square. And there we go. So, and then I'll have the price here. There we go. So now they are in the same format as I have my previous screen. Now this is just because that's how I like it, right? So I have, right now this is, the first part of this video, how to add items to, the, to a detailed view, right? How to add a list of items. So the inline list is pointing to my items tab. So even though I'm looking at the detailed view of item number two, here should be named profiles. I'm looking at every other item that I have in my sheet. Now I can go a step further and I can add a filter. And we have a new filter in Glide, and that's why I am bringing over here the tag or the color. Because as you can see here in my Google Sheet, I have different items and they are either green, purple, or orange, right? So what I wanna do is if you are looking at an item that is purple, then I wanna show you the other purple items. So you'll click the inline list, and as you can see, you can here, we have, again, filters, the search bar, you can group these items, so you can pretty much uh, do a lot, because this is the whole list view. Now, what I wanna do is add a filter. This filter will be when the tag is the same tag that this item has, right? So as you can see, I click the tag, filter, so on this inline list that right now is empty, I will bring every single item whose tag is, then I click here, the three dots, I go to the screen, so I go to this screen, to what I'm looking right now, to, those, to that row, right, is tag. So that way, I will only show here, and to make this clearer, let me add, or header, tag. So 
you can see here that I'm looking at item number two, whose, which tag is purple. Then here, because I added this filter, when the tag of the other items match the tag of the item I'm looking at. So right now I'm bringing over to this detail view these other tags, these other items that have the same color. Now if I go back and I click any other item, this item is an orange item, then I'm bringing over with an inline list, with a filter, the items that are orange. And we have some other color somewhere. Yeah, it's the same orange. So, and I added this as a horizontal view. So this is a way to add an inline list and a second layer of filtering to your inline list when you are on a detailed view.